Here's your teams as the referee gets us underway. Guysfield going from right to left. Obviously, Morpeth going the other way. As Guysley immediately put it straight out of play. Off on the hoops to clear him. Morpeth very, very slow to get out here as they get up towards into the 18 yard box and it's floated back in towards the danger zone. And Jeff Henson partially wins one, but it'll drop in the area comfortably for Guysley. It's sent into the area and pushed across the far post. Corner well played, Ben Sayer finds Chris Reed over halfway. He's going to gallop forward down that left flank. But at time and space, actually, for Chris Reed to move into enemy territory. Here's Connor Thompson, who's squared up by one. Love a little back heel to release Reed. He's got a chance to cross low and flat. And deflected partially goal with by Sakura. Well, as it stands, it's still 0 0. But uh, Morks need to get hold of the ball. Here's Foley then, midway inside Geisley territory. Looks to release Thompson, who puts it through the legs of Dean. And then Keeps hold of possession. That's better, Connor Thompson. Finds Ben Sayers going to shoot from distance and does. Rise and drive just over the top. 22 minutes on the clock. Nil, nil. And he's ser ser serving the second game of a three-game ban. It's just Robson goes to win that, but then doesn't win the second ball. And all of a sudden, guys, they're pressing forward and they're under real pressure here. And a shot from Geisley from distance. It was Adam Hall who had a go from 20 yards out. It was a little bit sluggish there. Almost everybody stopped expecting that to be a throw-in. And... Not really sure why. It's a nice little one-two. Good ball from Sayer to get Reed in behind the fullback. Chance to cross into the area, and he does so. Trinary palms it partially clear, and 29 minutes on the clock, and that's a really decent ball in from Chris Reed. Just delays taking the free kick, uh, the corner kick. All the players are going to have to reset and wait for the delivery at the box. Mickey Turner goes down a bit. Set balls in the area. Connor Panny's had a roll clear, well over the top, but decent ball in that from um, Liam Noble inside his own half. Finds Eyeball, the former Whitby Town man. If I remember right, he was at Scarborough last season and was absolutely cracking, to be honest with you. He was absolutely class. As their poor ball out of defence is picked off by Dale Pearson. Opportunity knocked on halfway. Panny looks to float over the top of Foley. He's going to stay on side. He is. He's out not right on side. Stepped inside one challenge up towards the edge of the area. Foley looks for options. Sees Dale Pearson on the edge of the area. He shoots! What a goal! Dale Pearson with an absolute cracker! First competitive goal on his return in Hiram and Kirk Colours, it's 1-0. Territory, loads of people in line on the edge of the 18 yard box. It's swung in left footed towards the heads. It's flipped goalwards. Lawson has to get a hand on it, put it over the top. It was Jake Cassidy's effort. It was a between the two sides. His throne is taken. Here's Josh Robson with the ball at his feet. He hit the corner flag and cross under pressure. He's got one in front of him. He plays it low and flat towards Pearson, who's got options further back. A little touch inside by Thompson. The ball across the area by Ben Sayer. And Connor Panny just pulled out there to try and. Picks up the spares and Morpeth have got a funnel back in and quickly. Cassidy's forced back towards midway inside Morpeth territory. He's moved out to the left though. It's swung into the area towards that back post and Connor Thompson thighs it down. Goal words has moved across the way and it's played into the back of the net. Guys, the are level. They've bundled it home. Can't quite see who's got it. Well, it was one of those where it was played towards the back post. Connor Thompson didn't put it out of play. Kind of just thighed it back towards Dan Lawson and bundled through and it was crossed the line and Hall reacted as quickest and it's a goal for Geisley 1-1 one, one. Ball's played into the area here and all of a sudden Morpeth are in real trouble once again as a shot goal by Johnson Dan Lawson with a fine save and it's turned in again and they've scored again two goals in a minute Morpeth have had the game turned on its head here it's 2-1 and this is barely believable stuff Everybody's under all sorts of pressure, and so too Connor Thompson and Morpeth just kind of keep hold of the ball here as it's pinged around the corner by Luke Dean up towards the head of Cassidy. And Morpeth oh, struggling to get rid of it. And Josh Robson's fallen it, Jeff Henderson, and Jay Cassidy stolen in and rifled it home. And in the 74th minute, we've gone from 1 0 up to 3 1 down in the space of five minutes here. It's their last throw of the dice, but then again, they're just looking to see this one out here. As Morpeth have got to push everything on to this as Liam Noble plays it low and flat towards the edge of the box, and Connor Thompson goes out to the right hand side, and Josh Robson swings it into the area towards that near post. It goes all the way through, comes back for Chris Reed, who shoots. It's blocked, it'll drop for Connor Thompson, who shoots on the volley, sends it well, well over the top. And didn't just come off the bench, but you know what I mean. And, uh, I know what you mean. You know what I mean. I know what I mean. Throw ins taken from Deepman Guys to Territory. Thompson finds Panny, who's oh, going to shoot from distance. It's out left of centre. Um, everybody lined up on the edge of the 18 yard box bar. Jack Ford, who's on the centre circle, dinked into the area. The head's flicked on goal. It's Carl by Connor Panny. Carl Chenery gathers 
Foley recovers that and is fouled. Noble's got a second chance to deliver in from the right and just flings it in towards the six-yard area and Trinary doesn't get anything on that and it's headed sideways towards Reed. Chester down looks to shoot towards the near post. Ball oh. played forward by Morpeth up towards the head. Spencer Harris has won everything in the air this, this evening and uh, Jeff Henderson takes over the ball for the referee has the whistle to his lip. Skies, he win by three goals to one. Three goals in five second half minutes turn the game on it. Head, thank you very much for joining us here on Hireman Radio. We appreciate it. Come back on Saturday when we welcome Matlock Town. And that's it for now.